Welcome to another edition of The Crew Off Topic. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. We are excited to have you, and we've got a interesting thing to bring up and to ask a question about. What is the best car chase scene on film? Ooh. How about we talk with uh, Mr. Albanese first? What do you think mm -hmm. for the best car chase scene on film? So it may not necessarily be the best, but it's the one that sticks out in my head because it's the one I, the very first car chase scene I had ever seen as a kid. And I was at my friend's house, Chris, Christopher Pickard. He's actually an actor. And uh, he was, he's a big film buff. And one of the films he always, he always had on playing when we were kids was Cannonball Run. And so in the very beginning of Cannonball Run, uh, if you remember, it's actually the first time I ever saw a Lamborghini and I was mystified by the look of that car. And um, just the opening scene is, is the Lamborghini taking off and then there's a Trans Am police car chasing it. favorite car chasing was barbie benton in that one i think was everybody she, was yeah dude everybody, <laughs> everybody was in that she got pulled over so, and yeah I, right I right and so yeah yes so there's also you know in the beginning they um you know the the, the girl pops out of the lamborghini and there's a uh, there's a the, the speed sign says 55 miles an hour and she gets out and she puts an x on it and they take off <laughs> um, but you know like burt reynolds is in it don yeah. DeLuise. oh yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah everybody and anybody who was in that movie was in that they was that a cool Jackie Chan's in that movie. Jackie Chan is in, Jackie yeah, Chan's in that movie. Is he really? 
Roger Moore's brilliant. Yeah, Roger Moore's in it. Yeah, I mean, that one. You pull it up, it's it's really everybody. And oh, and if you ever watch the the ending the ending of Cannonball Run or all of the Cannonball Runs where they do the outtakes, the bloopers, yeah. they are by far the, the like the funniest part of the movie. Even though the funny itself, the movie itself is completely hilarious, the outtakes are even better. The, Ro- like the Roger Moore outtakes are some of my favorites. I don't no, the Dom DeLuise ones, have you seen those between oh, him yes. and Burt Reynolds? Like, right, right, like when they're in the sobbing. ambulance get up. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> those are the best outtakes that I've ever seen, I think. Because <laughs> they're always laughing. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. Like, Burt Reynolds, I like Burt Reynolds laugh is one of the great laughs yeah. in cinematic history, too. And Dom is always crying. He's laughing so hard. That's <laughs> awesome. He was one of my, he's my father's favorite actor. Yeah. Uh, and our favorite movie as a family is Fatso. So that's a wow. <clears throat> it's kind of sad and happy at the same time. Though. Yeah, no, it's yeah. funny. So, so Mr. Mike, same question for you. What is your okay. favorite car God, chase? There's a lot that really flashed through my mind. Um, I just think from an iconic standpoint, I'd have to go with bullet. Um, you know, Steve McQueen at the height of his career. Um, you've got the pure American muscle car, you know, the Mustang. You know, mm-hmm. San Francisco, you know, doing these, you know, I don't know how many front ends they must have gone through jumping those right. uh, massive hills Shut down <laughs> always. Um, <clears throat> but that's when, you know, every time I watch it, even today, it's like, that's when I want to run out and buy like an old muscle car just because of this, that raw power and everything. <laughs> I will have to say that I almost had to go with Gene Hackman in the French connection. Hmm. Um, but just from a pure visceral standpoint, I think bullet was, it was the one that I was going to have to vote on. Steve McQueen is Which awesome. Was, the epitome of cool. I mean, yeah, right. was, not, not a great guy in his personal life, but on screen, no, it didn't, it didn't was, appear to be, but just look at all the movies that he was involved yeah. in and just, you know, the magnificent seven Cincinnati and, kid. Yeah. It was one of my favorite just, movies. Right. And, you know, just just that pure presence on screen, and then throw that behind one of the most iconic American muscle cars, you know, of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty potent. Cool, Sean. Well, I'm going to cheat the question a little bit. Um, Cheater. There's a lot Cheater. of great. There's a lot of great car chases, <laughs> and I could probably come up with one, but I really want to talk more about best use of vehicle in a film. Um, I. I, I it, is this R rated? Is it beyond R? Uh, yeah, not not like you're thinking, Chris. Not not anything to do with the tailpipe. But um, um <laughs> Lethal but Weapon bumps. Two. That was said in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> lethal anymore. Weapon Two. When um when Mel Gibson hooks his uh, truck to the uh, what do you call him the the stilts of the South African consulate and. Mm-hmm. Yanks it down. Um, Pulls the uh, that was down. one of those moments in film when I was just did not awesome. expect that scene. Oh. 
Now, do you think that in real life that you think that would be possible to do? No, heck no. But, no. I mean, come on. But it was great. It but was. you said Cannonball Run, so let's not talk about what's possible. <laughs> what's <laughs> what's possible? Cannonball um, actually happens, though. It's actually now. An that's a real now, thing. I do think. Yeah. I do think the um, rejuvenating power of a beer is possible, and that brings me to my runner-up, which was mm. the movie Lone Wolf McQuaid. Uh, Chuck Norris, that wonderful thespian, um, gets buried <laughs> in his. He truck. is not. He's straight. <laughs> <laughs> gets buried so, in his so truck. I don't say anything bad about Chuck. <laughs> You're dead. And uh, and he wakes up and he and he looks around and he he kind of figures he's buried, but I don't, he's you know kind of half out of it. He opens up a beer, pours it all over his face. <laughs> what else do you do with a beer? <laughs> then he hits his <laughs> hits his supercharger button and his truck flies out of the uh, <laughs> the dirt. And then he starts you know kicking people's tail and till the great sequence with David Carradine at the end. So. <laughs> Much more yeah, believable than pulling down team. the consulate with a truck, you know, <laughs> coming out of the still, ground. Both still are both great, great Chuck scenes. Chuck Norris though. didn't need the truck. No, no. The dirt knew better. The, the dirt what, was afraid what, of him. What about you, Mr. Uh, Bishop there? What do you think? So mine's a toss-up. So and I, I think I'm going to go with the first one. But probably my toss-up would be the difference between Ronin and the Born Identity. Um, and they both for probably kind of sort of different reasons. But they're both obviously set in Paris. And uh, just between the tunnel scenes, and I, I think I'll go with Ronan just because, probably because it's De Niro, and I'd probably be more afraid of De Niro than I would be of Damon, because, yeah, it's not Damon. It's okay. <laughs> but um, but in De Niro, I just, I saw it recently, actually, cause, uh, you know, I was just watching some movies, and that was one that I went to, and De Niro's face, every time they go to De Niro's face, I mean, he's you know he's he's getting ready to murder that steering wheel but he's just so the way he's driving it but it's just so well done so well done and, and it, it takes it from you know going through the sidewalks to all of a sudden in a tunnel and you're back out and just power sliding around corners and it's just it's just fun to watch and it just yeah.
it gives you that excitement in film that a lot of times it's extremely predictable what's going to happen. Um, and you just didn't know where those cars were going. Where, where was the next iconic place they're going to drive by and do a power slide and almost hit a pedestrian. They, I think they hit a couple motorcyclists and they even knocked a tractor trailer over at one point. I mean, just smash them up, have fun. And I thought they did that scene perfectly. So enjoy hmm. it. Yeah. All right. Well, is that well, it? So that if we had doing? to, if we had to vote on the candidates put forth and you cannot vote for your own Ooh. car chase mm. or use of vehicle, mm-hmm. um, we, we need to pick a, an overall winner. So let's go with raise your hand if Cannonball Run is your choice. Bastards. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bastards. okay cool. <laughs> raise your hand if... I'm not vote. voting now. <laughs> oh. He got he froze. He froze. He's so froze. He was he's so, so angry. mad. He froze. Okay, now he's unfrozen. He's back. Damn so, it! Raise what your did hand. you do to your technology? You're so pissed about cannonball. Right? Mm, stop hitting your cameras. Don't mess with my democratic process. Raise your yeah. hand. Stop it, Ben Stiller. Bullet is your choice. I, I, I probably go to. I probably go with bullet. Actually, mm, okay. okay. Mike can't clearly. I can't do it. Yeah. Since I can't vote for mine, I'm going to go okay. for bullet. Yeah. Raise your hand if. What was yours, Eric? Ronan. Ronan. If Ronan is your choice. Oh. I would raise my hand for that one, too. Okay. We, can't. we can have some time. <laughs> All right, Chris. Chris, being the waffler that you are, um, <laughs> you have to choose between Ronan and Bullet for the win. Ooh, it's, it all comes down to Chris. Dang. Yeah, Ronan. Okay. Ronan? Yeah. Oh, man, sorry. <laughs> Mike said, wait a second. Wait a minute. Steve Check McQueen. Steve McQueen. I, do, I do love Steve McQueen. Though. I know. I'll sell you that money a little bit later, Chris. Yeah. That's a tough okay, call, so, man. So the crew reviews has decided that Ronan is the greatest car chase in the history of cinema, Get unanimously. Hmm. Uh, or Mr. De Niro, call us. We'll gladly put you on the show anytime you like. So, eh, you okay, eh, maybe. Yeah, probably yeah, never not. know. I guess so. <laughs> there it is, folks. And now we're gonna race out of here. Okay. Ugh, that's sad. What a way to crap the way to it end. It can't all be gold. It can't all be. But gold. this is a better way to end, right here. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. Coke, we need a sponsor.